Hi. Okay. I am going to show you how I make my pickle red onions. They are the bomb. Hot dog, polishes, tacos, salads. And I have a favorite also that I use it for. Yes, my seafood boil, the sauce, my homemade special sauce. I use my pickle onions. Take it to another level. It is awesome. So, let's get started. I have my mandolin. It's sharp. I want them as thin as possible. So, I got a little water on it for rinsing it. Hold on, let me dry it off. Okay. So, I'm going to take it off a lock and I'm putting it on one. Because I want it as thin as possible. Uh, you can tell I rinsed everything. Everything got water on it. But that's fine. So, I'm working with three of them. And you may think that's a lot, but when you make them um, thin and pack them in, they not, you know, it'll hold. My jar is a mason jar. This is a, a 16 ounce. So I'm making a 16 ounce. And I just ran out of them when I had did my sauce last. So yeah. So let me get it down in here good. Cause, um, and here we go. Look, these is how you like them, like this. Cause once they get in there, you're gonna pack them and pack them and pack them, and they're gonna last you a long time. At least it lasts me, cause I use it like for my hot dogs. And I definitely use it for my um my sauce for my seafood bowl. Ooh, can y'all see the mountain of that? Yes. I tell anybody, get one of these. It, it was like what? I think twelve dollars at Walmart. Yes. So. Okay. Next, but look at look at all of these onions that I have from that one onion, that one onion. Actually, you can start putting it in the jar so you can see just how much you're going or how much more onions you need to cut up cuz you're going to pack it in there. I think I, I think I did three last time. Uh, them onions, baby, they strong. You know, red onions is strong anyway. A lot of folks don't like them because they real, real strong. Oh, my God, they so flavorful. Be careful getting it out the back. Yeah. The mandolines are sharp. They, they sharp, I tell you. But you want them packed, so let's go again. I'm telling you, like on soup, um, especially your salad. Oh my God, your hot dogs and stuff—they the bomb. They the bomb. And when I do mine, you know, you could do it in whoa, 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 sister eyeball. Um, some do it, you know. Some recipes do it, and they'll tell you go on and hit it up the next day. I done. I let mine stay for about a good weeks and weeks. And that flavor, oh my God, it's the bomb. I'm telling y'all, this is one of my secrets. One of my secrets to my seafood boy sauce. Yes, takes it to another level. You don't have to use all of that butter and, you know, how they use a lot of butter and sit there and saute the onions, getting them all soft. Mm -mm. 
Look at me, I'm being, just trying to get that little bit in there. Let me get him out the way. I be like the devil trying to set me up to chop my fingers off, but he'll lie. Hold on. It's allergy season for me. So hold on. Well, let me go on and do this here. I'm putting it in the jar. Oh, God. Did y'all see that onion fall? I, I am going to have to find it. Because you know what? Ain't nothing like your house smelling like an onion. And you can't find out where that onion is. Hold on. Thank you. Okay. All right. Here we go. This was the second one. And you see, I still got room. But you want room for your um, water and your red vinegar and stuff. But another one will work. You should be able to put another one. So I had a big one and two like medium. You cut the end off and you peel them good. Okay, last one. And this is easy. It's really easy. Get you a mandolin. Now I have it on number one, the smallest one. That's what you want, the smallest setting. You don't want them thick at all. So. Okay. Let me try to get this here just this little bit. I ain't gonna sacrifice. I'm not going to sacrifice my finger. <laughs> so. hmm. okay my helper over there this is the third one Woo! push it down and each time you go up in there and you put it on your hot dog or your soup or your salad or your polish or... I'm telling you, put it on top of greens. I'm telling y'all, this is it's so good. Especially... Now, you could do a separate jar just for your seafood bowl. Like, when you're making a big thing, yes, put all of that. Oh, my God. The... the, the the um liquid that's in it also the bomb you are, i promise you i promise you it's the bomb okay look how much space i have left see because i pushed it down i pushed it you see all of those in there that's a lot of onions that's a lot of onions okay let me get it all off Watch your fingers. Be careful with your fingers. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go with, now, someone put hot water. I put, like, warm, close to cold. Hold on. One cup. One cup. One cup. Now, give it a minute. Let that water sink on down. Let it go on down. You see how it's rising up? I don't know if you can see it good. It's rising up. You only want like a cup of water. Oh, let me, let me, oh, let me get this here for it. Push it down. Make sure, because I don't want, I have too much water. 
for me. That was too much water. So, hold on. Because I don't like a lot of water in mine. Hold on. Let me pull. Make that a half a cup of water. I don't, I do not like a lot of water in mine. Hold on. Perfect. There we go. So make that like a, a half a cup of water. You're going to do apple cider vinegar. You're going to go down. Actually, I put a little bit more apple cider vinegar. A little bit over a half a cup. Now, trust me. This just to give it a zing, help get help give it a zing, cause the vinegar gonna do all of that anyway. It's not gonna be hot, I promise you. I promise you, it's not gonna be. Oh, it's too spicy. It's not. It's not. You not gonna even. You really not gonna taste the um the red pepper flakes. I know y'all is into um measuring measuring everything. I don't measure everything. That's the thing. I don't measure everything. Um, hold on, hold on, for so y'all to see just, let me get a measuring spoon off, because I, I really don't. Um, let's just go with a tablespoon, one tablespoon. I, I'm, I'm not a measuring person. And I promise you, this is not making it hot. Okay, red pepper flakes, one tablespoon, Lord Jesus, look at me, look at me, y'all. Help the mind, help the mind, Jesus. Okay, now, kosher salt is the best, and you will use like, um, uh, like a teaspoon, one teaspoon, one teaspoon of sugar. Hold up. Now this is kosher salt. Everybody know I love my my pink salt. But for this, I use kosher. Hold on. One half. Where's my teaspoon on it? Okay, I can't find my half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. Why well, I got two of you? Oh, no, that's half of a teaspoon. Okay, hold on. Okay. Half a teaspoon. That really should be enough. No, that's a tablespoon. That's half of a tablespoon. I don't want that much. Hold on, guys. People, ladies, gentlemen, kings, queens. Okay. Half of a teaspoon. One. I don't know where my teaspoon at. Two. So, two halves make one teaspoon. So, I made one teaspoon of coarse salt, coarse sea salt. Now, for my sugar, <laughs> you know, with my sugar, <laughs> I have my things labeled like flour. I have the F for flour. I have the C for cornmeal. And for sugar, I have D, diabetes. So I don't use a lot of it. <laughs> so, um, a teaspoon I really don't but you can't taste it it just it gives it such a good flavor I'm telling you all and believe it or not that's it you put your top on there real good 
and you shake it. Shake it. And put it in your refrigerator. Keep it in the refrigerator. I keep mine. That's why mine lasts a long time and it gives that good freshness to it. I keep mine in the refrigerator. Even when I open it up and use it, I put it right back in the refrigerator. So, just shake it good until you see some of the flakes. You see how the flakes is coming down? Can you see how the flakes is coming down? That's what you want. You want that little seasoning and everything to come on down. Mm, it got flavor already. Just a little bit. So this is all you want to do. And keep it in the refrigerator. So I'm going to continue shaking this. Or like if you want to stir it up, you go ahead. All I do is shake it because I just want to make sure it get all down in there. And um, I put it in the refrigerator. And this is your pickle onions. It's fine. I promise y'all, it's fine. And you know another one um, I did also? Um, I done used it up. Pickled um, ginger. You don't have to buy that. It's too high. Just like I did this, you can do your ginger. Pickled ginger. Slice it real thin. Or number two, if you want number two, like they do for the sushi, you can do that also. But, um, yeah. See, it's coming all down in here. That's how I like, that's how I know it's going through it. It's getting all down through it before I put it in the refrigerator for it to, you know, be preserved like that. So, anyway, thank y'all for stopping by. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes, season your food and words with grace. Always have love in your heart. Be ready to forgive. Do not let unforgiveness, don't harbor bitterness or evil, um, ill intent, anything. Don't let none of that be in your heart. Let it go. The scripture said, when thou standest to pray, forgive. All right, until next time, I love y'all. I'm going to keep shaking this up for a few more minutes before I put it in the refrigerator. But this is one of the secrets ingredients <laughs> to my seafood boy um, sauce. So y'all have a good one. Love you. Don't forget, push subscribe and give me a thumbs up. All right. Have a good one.